first prayer that we try to do as a Vincentian community is that of praying for vocations. And so we say together, O hope of the Spirit, O Savior, time of trouble, Look at the leader and provide whatever necessary for the Lord. Well, it's free, increase its fruit, and bring to what you are doing here, which your right hand has planted. Has planted. Indeed, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. We ask you, therefore, Lord of the harvest, to send laborers into your harvest, multiply your people and increase their joy, so that they will also be among the people. This is our house, the Lord. In your name, those, those you have, have called, called and made them truly holy. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. And this morning we are doing the second week of our liturgy of hours, and I ask uh, Father Orlando to be our psalmist this oh, morning, and yes, Father uh, Joseph, would you be our reader? Okay. <clears throat> oh God, come to our Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. As a deer long for blood, so my soul longs for you, my God. Hallelujah. Like a deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. I enter and see the face of God. My tears have become my bread. By night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? <clears throat> there, these things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I will lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throne will wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Open God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hills of Misa. Deep is calling on deep, and the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile, revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So now that the surging waves of your indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing call of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always, like the deer for running streams, until you satisfy every longing in heaven. Feeling Zion, Zion with the praise of Lord, and, and let, let your wonders be proclaimed. Hallelujah. Come to our aid, O God of the universe and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heaven, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new sight and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. <clears throat> Gather of the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as a uphold. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you name your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
lived as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. For the glory of God, and the glory of the Spirit, the Lamb of God, the heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the word of, of His hands. Day to day takes up the story, and night to night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There He has placed a tent for a sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from His tent. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky it is course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Praying for all of the parishioners of St. Mary's um, at this time and for their needs. Uh, and for those uh, who are joining us, I ask that you place your prayers at this altar as St. Catherine Labore in the vision to the Immaculate, um, to Our Lady of Miraculous Happiness, and called us to. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the paschal observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from to us, making a straight run for some trees. And on the next day, to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a little city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went out outside the city gate along the river, where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the woman who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer of in purple clothes from the city of Thyatira, a worshiper of God, listened, and the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The, the Lord, Lord takes delight, delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, a praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes the light in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes the light in his people. Let the faithful adjust in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their conscience. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The, the Lord takes delight in his people. Ave, ave, ave. Sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. Spell you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As our society can, uh, begins to open up in many ways uh, with the different governors' uh, phases to allow us to perhaps continue normal activity, we're still encouraged, of course, to wear masks. We're still encouraged to do social distancing just for the benefit of others, including ourselves, uh, for this, against this disease. How do we, though, as Christians, uh, continue to allow ourselves to be opened up? Uh, as we hear, Lydia's heart was opened. How do we open ourselves to the truth of the good news, knowing that soon our lives will become very busy once again, or soon that our lives will be overwhelmed, uh, going back perhaps to uh, familiar places or works? We hear, first and foremost, that in the disciples now going to Macedonia, as they were asked to by the Lord, given very clear directions, I want you in Macedonia, and hear now that there is a grouping of people that are going to be willing to hear that word in such a different way. And one of those people we hear is Lydia. Now, in Greek society, women were considered equal in Jewish society. And she was not just simply another woman, she was a dealer in purple dye. Purple dye actually is extremely expensive. That was the dye that kings and their cloaks were, were dyed in. And so she is a dealer that is a very wealthy person. She has a lot of say within the society. But how did the Lord help her to open her heart? And that's the first question. How will the Lord continue to open our hearts? How will the Lord continue to say to us, I have a way in which you can live my life. I want you to be open to the power of the Spirit within you, and not just within you, within your family. I want you to be a witness. And regardless of her position, Regardless of her wealth, she opened her heart to the Lord. But in opening the heart to the Lord, it requires what? It requires that we be guided by the Advocate, the Spirit of Truth, to testify. And so where does truth, the truth of Jesus, rest within all that we will engage or encounter one day? Where does the truth of Jesus hold out uh, that speaks about what is real freedom? Because freedom really is having responsibilities. It's about being uh, responsible to others and certainly to do the will of God in all of this. Because ultimately, what in opening our hearts and our lives, opening up ourselves to the spirit of truth, we want to allow the Lord says, I take delight in my people. He takes delight in us because we choose to have open hearts, open hands, and want to walk the ways of gospel truth. And delighting in the Lord, or the Lord who delights in us, says that we are doing all that we can when we leave our homes, or go to work, or go out 
continue to be who we truly should be and need to be. Amen. Amen. God the Father was glorified in the death and resurrection of his Son. Let us pray to him with confidence, saying, Father Orlando. Almost ready. Sorry. Father Joseph. Father of lights, you bathe the world in splendor when Christ rose again in glory. Fill our minds with the light of faith. Through the resurrection of your Son, you open for as we were today, sustain us with the hope of glory. To your risen Son, you sent the Holy Spirit into the world. Set our hearts on fire with spiritual love. May Jesus Christ, who was crucified to set us free, be today our salvation and redemption. Pray for all those needs and intentions that you bring to this table, to the altar of the Lord, that we, in our needs, will not forget the needs of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the people who attend the Novena, the Miraculous Merals Shrine today, may God listen the prayer that they offer through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. to pray for our, our confreres, uh, all those who have ministered here at St. Mary's, for all those who have died, uh, for James McGill, who died in 1911, and for William Hogan, who died in 1954. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. May we pray for all of our medical personnel, all those who have been serving us, sometimes at the cost of their own health and their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember all those who have gone because of this disease and because of perhaps the mental health issues that have been caused by this disease or the spiritual um, disillusion and confusion that has been caused by this disease we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, you hear the prayers we in place before you. Help our hearts to be open to those to the truth of who Jesus is, so that we will become like him in all ways, in our time, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May in glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. 
but in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, Lord, your chosen to pray throughout the world, and may help to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on our soul, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, your spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him. And, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. It's at the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, that we dare say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer that sign of Christ peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Into our hearts we behold the Lamb of God. We behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am the Lord. Lord. By raising Jesus Christ from the dead, God has given us a new birth through a living hope in the promise of an inheritance that will last forever. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will be for the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins, in the tender compassion of our Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal ministries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God continue to bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go forward to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to you, God. God. I wish you a very blessed day and a blessed week. Thank you very much for joining. And we're going to continue in our prayers, uh, asking the Blessed Mother for protection in a time of pandemic. So we say, O oh Mary, you always bright. Who at the cross took part in Jesus' sin, while remaining steadfast in faith. Our loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident you will provide for us, as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your servant Jesus, the divine physician, for those who have fallen ill. Oh, and, and say to our fathers 
and for those who are attending to the student in seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of the Divine Love, to conform to the will of our Lord, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrow. Church's tradition of the uh, uh, Virginia Chile. Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. For he whom you married to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. Because the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, granted joy to the whole world, Grant, we be, beg you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may lay hold of the joys of eternal life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you.